Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, cafeteria? December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. We still haven't cleaned this place up yet. If Pearly got one look at the state of this place, she'd slap whoever it was that was in charge of the face! Remind me to never invite her to my office. Hmm, nothing here. Because uh... we've examined everything. From last time. But, bust. There's no bust. There is no bust. Because we didn't see it yesterday either. Alright, uh, Ringmaster's room? December 29th, Big Top Ringmaster's the... room. Okay. There's something out on the desk. That was there last time, though. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Max and the Ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the Ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that? Maybe it was cold or something. There's nothing in there either. Where is Regina? Maybe she's went to Chick fil A. I would do that. Da -da 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 -da. Need to go to Chick fil A sometime. Okay. December 29th, Lodging House Plaza. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Nah, I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Because <laughs> <laughs> Princess Kid told him he would have to after the truck. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Being bossed around by a woman. I know how you feel. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Uh, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal! You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. She just shows up. Don't on. show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Don't show up. Looks like she's wound him pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How is that possible? According to the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room, anyway? Behind the window up there? The acrobats got his room up on the third uh -huh. floor, it seems. Like I've said! Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobats' room, got it, pal? We have to. <sighs> Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> what? Now that Gumshoe's not here, we can examine the stuff again. This is the condenser for the air conditioner. It hasn't been used in a while. What? How did you figure that out? You're not making things up now, are you? Hold your horses. It was easy to figure out. It was snowing before the murder, right? Well, look at the condenser. The snow is still piled up on top of it. Whoa, Nick! I'm impressed. Maybe you should be a PI instead of a attorney. Something's covered up by this tarp. An old sign, perhaps. Nick, look, look out! They've got the killer trap behind that tarp! What? Wasn't funny? You know it wouldn't have hurt you to look even a little bit surprised. Whew! She didn't notice that I was too scared to talk. Hey, Mo. Hopefully. December 29th, Lodging Hall, first floor, Mo's room. Mo's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped in his room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. <laughs> what do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm, he must really love his work. Okay, everyone's gone and I'm extremely suspicious. 
<laughs> that they're all murdered. Either they're all murdered or Van- Francisca's got them up there. Ventriloquism. Uh. Uh. Do we have to present him something? I don't think so. Box? No, that wouldn't be it. Nope, nothing. Do we need to look in there? Examine stuff? I don't think so. Maybe there's something in the cafeteria. Oh! Something new. December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. Ah, right! Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes! He's in an awfully good mood. All right, you know what time it is! Riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um... Come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Buzz wrong! Try again! Okay, what do you think, girly? Um... Ah, oh, I got it! Okay, what is your answer? Because they're in a caf cafeteria! Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. I thought it was gonna be about jalapenos. I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Yeah. Yeah, Gumshoe got to listen to his life story, so he's feeling better now, probably. Probably. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me! I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd last night, I had to smash watermelons. Hmm. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the famed no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly! How could you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? I don't know, Mo. <laughs> Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw! I swear! That creep just... Flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max! I don't see a psych lock. He must be telling the truth. Maybe it was like mirrors or something. Smoke and mirrors. You know what I mean. Sorry, but I don't know anything about that. I see. After all, I'm just a clown! I can see Mo's a clown, but I get the feeling he's not your average clown. No. But what makes a clown average? Ah, not this picture! He showed it to you guys, too? Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica? He really gets around! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! He didn't just show me the picture! What do you mean? He showed me his bus, too! Let me tell you, that fiend is enormous! It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it. Every day, he made us bow to its greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Max's bust. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah! Hmm, when was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bus disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm, hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Max Galactica bust added to the court record. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? No! Nope, nothing's changed that I can see! I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. A quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. I guess there's really not any. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well! There is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us! Tell us! Well, on the morning of the crime, over on that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I can see its title. Yikes! 
It says, to the murderer. Nobody thought that was suspicious. <laughs> m -m -m murderer Yep, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the Reedmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this fan? Note added to the court record. Nick, I think it's a very important clue. Wait, but we literally just talked about before. Like, hey, let's put a note to the murderer on there. Yeah, that. I know. Maybe someone put it on there as a joke. <laughs> Maybe Maya stuck it up there and she's just like, oh, hey, hey. No, I'm thinking more like Franziska. Oh. That's also possible. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I'm so, I'm very scared that Regina's nowhere to be found. It's probably fine. Probably. Oh, there's nothing. Huh. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, ask him about the note! <laughs> that, yeah, we should probably do that. Would you mind taking a look at this? Man, Ben is just... Tough crowd. Trilo is an interesting character, but Ben himself is incredibly bland. Sorry, Ben. Go to the detention center and ask what's his face about the note. Hang on, I think we may have missed something in the cafeteria. Or wait, we can present. We can still present more stuff as well. The morning of the murder, this was posted up on the bulletin board. That's around when my Max clocked Ben over on the head. Sorry I hadn't remembered it until now. It was torn down before anyone really paid any attention to it. So you don't know what was written on it, do you? Unfortunately, I don't. But I bet you they would know. Who are they? Max and Ben. They were at the cafeteria earlier than I was that morning. Okay, yeah, you were right. Gotta go and visit Max. He'll probably be like, Ooh, Psychlock, I won't tell a soul! <laughs> He'll say the word Psychlock. <laughs> no, not a Psych- you know what I mean. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Was it like, to the murder of my heart? Oh, like, is this supposed <laughs> to be something super dumb? Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company? I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. I see. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. Honestly, that's better. I would rather read it myself. I'm sure you could find it somewhere. I'd rather read it myself. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. We can find her. We haven't found her yet. Watch. We're going to find her in the room, like, looking through her dad's coat box. It's like, ha, 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 ha. And we're like, she's like, oh, no, no, nothing. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> All right, ringmaster's room. Oh, <laughs> no one's in there. Okay. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved in the pocket of the tailcoat. Question, could we have found this earlier? No. Okay. Because he's like, Maya, we can't just rifle through people's tailcoat pockets. Oh, I forgot about that. You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. Bet that's the other half of the note that Mo, Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. Put two and two together. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 o'clock p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place! Now we need to find out who called the ringmaster. I wonder if the ringmaster murdered someone, other than the, the um, lion. That would be bad. I'm guessing, another theory I have, Regina was like, I can't believe my dad murdered this lion. I'm going to prove to him once and for all this is bad. And she's like, I know what you did! Meet me here! And then, like, you know, everything happened. Jeez. 
Then she was like, I can fly! Yeah. To the murderer, you haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Oh, not of a murder. Just you haven't forgotten about what happened six months ago. Well, he has no wife, from what I can tell. That's so true. maybe it's like, from his wife, they split up. Or it could be from the acrobat. Or it could be from Regina. Yeah. Or it could be from Max. He's like, you still didn't pay me. <laughs> or it could be from Trilo. I don't know. December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. What? Mo's gone. There's a message on the bulletin board. I'm hungry, so I'm off to get some hamburgers! Love, Mo! Mmm, hamburger! Just thinking about it is making me hungry. All of a sudden, I need a burger bad. All of a sudden, I need a new partner. Bad! <laughs> oh, that was nice. Mo's getting us hamburgers. What a guy. No, he's not getting us hamburgers. Yeah, he is. He's like, I'm off to grab hamburgers. Whoa. Yeah, for him. Oh, oh, maybe. Well. Probably. He probably I, was just like, can I you, did not disappear. Can you imagine, like, just like, you're at McDonald's working the window, and then Mo shows up in his car and like, I ordered hamburgers! <laughs> They'd be like, um, here's your hamburgers. Yuck, 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 yuck. Where's Regina? <laughs> Let's check the local morgue, shall we? The local morgue? Would you prefer the, um, far away morgue? No, but- oh, gumshoe. Oh, December they're probably 29th, like- December 29th, Lodging House Plaza. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh no, what if Francisco was, like, badgering her? Oh, that could be. Mm. I- I wanted to do this part before we end the episode, because- Okay. People are like, this case sucks, it doesn't tie in with the main plot of the game at all. Yeah, no it does, it's about to. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I'm done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. Both Miss Von Karma. Nick, what is that? That beeping sound. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. I thought that was him, and I was like, everybody's a robot! <laughs> for two seconds! <laughs> Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna get out ahead and get out of here quick! See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. Uh-oh. The world- No one whips Maya and gets away with it. Von, 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 Karma! She really did appear! It was a battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? Ha <laughs> National news? You pose such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Wright. Your f miserable flight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something, eh? Huh, I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. There you she couldn't... her teeth look really weird. <laughs> you couldn't even hide the look of victory with your ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I'm trying to think of what the acrobat will look like. I can't worry about her. I've got to try out and figure more information out for myself. He's been gone, which is suspicious. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back! My dad? You must mean the esteemed Van Manfred Von Karma. <laughs> you were almost gonna say Vampire Von Karma. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said Vanfred. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to say man. Some people have said was... Manfred looks like Dracula. <laughs> Maybe. Of course! Your dad! I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now. When did I ever bring up my papa's name in this, or any other conversation? Then... then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? 
I have to see him again. One more time. Oh, does she know Edgeworth? Him? I'm sure you know who I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? M -m Mr. Edgeworth? M -m -m Miles Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth. Why would you what? even bring him okay. up? I'm trying to think about the... Not even a relationship. Maybe relationship. But the, <laughs> um, how they know each other. So, We're about he was to find taught, that out. he was taught by Manfred. her dad. So probably he was, I can't imagine him, like, going to his house after school, but, like, like, Von Karma being like, be here at four after school, bring your, like, <laughs> snack or whatever. And then, like, little Von Karma's like, dad, what are you doing? And, like, maybe they have, like, a stupid rivalry, like, ha, I kicked you in the nose, or, like, something stupid. I don't know. That is actually scarily accurate. Is this? <laughs> a little bit. Really? Oh my god. Not quite. <laughs> Miles, why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? Edgeworth and Nick are of the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. Blah, blah, blah. I fought against him in a few cases. But after that case was over, he vanished. Oh, like Maya. Oh, uh, not Maya. M sort of Maya. Maya's mom. It's your fault he's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? Oh, boy. After that case, Edgeworth was in a peculiar state, and he got worse every day. But you'd think he'd get better, because he... I don't know. Not... I am guessing, because he's been in two cases. Like, his entire career would be ruined. That's fine. Like, I know that's awful, and that's hard to get through, but I'm sure you could find a different career. Versus, like... And I feel like, you know, all of his guilt's done... He didn't kill his father. His mentor was a total jerk. But I don't know, maybe he got like a- Rise from the Ashes something. messed him up though, because he had to resign after that. Sure. And he he basically realized he's like, Gant and I are very similar. Yeah. But, he was basically but seeing can... his potential future in Gant. Maybe. But like, there's a way to prevent that. Gant was kind of insane. This dude was. To, this, I don't to know. an extent, yeah. He never set foot in court again. And then one day, he just vanished. When the world All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office, the thing that the bellboy was about to read at the end of the credits. Oh. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chose chooses death. That was one year ago. Hey, there was a chance he could still be alive. It was right no, after you no, left no, no, to no. go back home. That could totally mean he's still alive then, because... Like, people... People like, leave suicide notes all the time! <laughs> no, but that would be him, like, I don't ever want to see these people again, I don't want to be associated, I want to, like, start my life over. And so maybe mm. if he was seen as, like, oh, he could be dead, they won't try and find him. Because if he vanishes, you know that Maya or Doug Gumshoe... Would or, go like, looking for him? Would go looking for him. Like, all over the earth to Mars, you know? <laughs> like, they're gonna find him. Versus if he's like, no, I'm dead. Let this be what it is. I'm trying to think of, like, a movie that's like that. But there's, um... Or, like, some going into hiding. That type of thing. Like, Maya's mom's not dead, but she's kind of dead to the village. Because she's been gone for 20 years. I mean, she might be dead. We she might be know. dead. Kind of like that is what I'm thinking it might be. It was right after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. Me either, Von Karma. You know what? We're, we're alike. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddled the honorable name Von Karma. Muddied. <laughs> Muddied? I think that's a typo, though. Oh. Typo. I'm going to find him. 
Then I'm going to teach him the difference between right and wrong with my own hands. Nick! Um, about Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick. Von Karma? What? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I have had about enough of you. Him too. What? What happened? <laughs> this dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform the two of you today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen! Nick... Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Alright, well, I hate to end it kind of on a cliffhanger, but that was a long investigation episode, and about a fifth of it was spent talking to Maya in the yeah, office. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody! I have no idea how people can say that this case doesn't tie in with the overall plot after that ties conversation. ties in more than the past, previous two. Yeah! I know, right? Well, maybe not the second case, because that introduces, like, the whole Korean village and yeah, Maya's hometown and stuff, but uh, I mean... This is a good case. I don't know what they're talking about. This is better than the Steel Samurai case, in my opinion. Oh, yeah! Absolutely. So, until we meet again, everybody, we'll be talking with Acro on the third floor. Oh, boy. And hopefully finish up the investigation in the next video. So, until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.